Okay, let's say you've run a script that's using sodium, uh, in this case, sodium crypto secret box, for example. So I've got this script that's encrypting using the sodium library in PHP. And of course, it's giving you an error such as the sodium extension is not available. So how do you solve this? So it's very, very easy. So firstly, you go inside your PHP ini file and then you make sure that uh, libsodium is enabled. So you open this file, php ini, and then in here, you have to make sure the extension uh, is there, uh, is enabled. Okay, so you search sodium here, you see it listed here. And then if there's a semicolon at the end, it means that um, there is, um, that it's a comment. So you have to remove the the, 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 the semicolon so that it's not a comment then you can save right so when you save that when you when when you run it um, it should load the library okay but sometimes even that is not enough so in this case let me let me just check so in this case it's still giving the same problem so if it's still giving the same problem it's possible that even when it's loaded it's not able to to, to see it and uh, the reason is um, it's sometimes the, the, the file itself is not always in the correct place. So you need to make a copy. So what I've just done is I'll just stop the Apache server and then I'll click on Explorer. And then in, in my ZAMP file here, so there is normally, <coughs> so a, a So there is normally a, a sodium file in the PHP folder. So you go inside the PHP folder. So you can see ZAMP PHP. This is the location, ZAMP PHP. Then in here, you search for libsodium, which is this one here. This is the DLL. So libsodium.dll. So you copy this file. Okay, just copy it. And then we're going to do something with it. We're going to push it inside ZAMP, Apache, and then bin. Okay, so we'll paste it in here. Okay, so this is where you should leave it. So it should be in the Apache bin folder. You should copy it uh, from ZAMP uh, PHP to ZAMP Apache bin. Okay, so once, you, once you've done that, you can then uh, start the the Apache server again and then you can try your script see if the error goes okay so you can see that for me the error has gone so that's pretty much it if you want to follow like the like the video comment subscribe to the channel and if you want to see how to encrypt with libsodium, I'll create a video shortly on how to do that so you can watch out for that.